Assalamu alaikum. Uh, best regards to all the attendees uh, in Nanotech Solutions Canada uh, three international seminar series. Uh, today's seminar uh, is by Dr. Saifullah Jamali, uh, researcher from Pakistan. He uh, will uh, talk about the elemental characterization of cosmotic use uh, using different spectroscopic uh, techniques. Uh, Dr. Uh, Saifullah uh, is uh, a researcher. Uh, on the, he is uh, his uh, bachelor degree in physics in uh, 2013. Uh, he uh, did uh, researches on laser into induced breakdown spectroscopy, uh, film two second and nanosecond laser ablation of materials, laser ablation in various uh, gaseous liquid environments. He has uh, many skills in computing and analysis problem solving, uh, research information management, uh, as well as interpersonal uh, leadership uh, uh, skills. Uh, Dr. Saifullah Jamal has uh, published many researches with his uh, colleagues. And let's uh, go on and start our uh, seminar today. Uh, you are welcome, uh, Dr. Saif, uh, Saifullah, uh, and all our attendees. So let's begin. Thank you very much, Doctor. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Rahim. Uh, I am Saifullah Jamari, researcher from Institute of Physics, University of Sin Jamshoro. Today I present my research uh, lecture on nanosecond laser interaction and elemental analysis of cosmetic agent using spectroscopic techniques so this is the university the location of a university in a globe map worldwide and uh, this is basically our library so called central library it is the biggest library of our university now presentation plan my today's presentation plan consists of aims and objectives introduction of lips Sample preparation, sample and its preparation, experimental setup, results and discussions, conclusion, and finally references. Aims and objectives. My aims and objectives are to study the nanosecond laser interaction with cosmetic agents, to find out the trace elements in the cosmetic agents, to study the hydrodynamic variations of emission line with a delay time to study the plasma parameter such as electron temperature, electron number density, inverse brain stalling coefficient and plasma frequency and to find out the concentration of trace element present in the cosmetic agents. Novelty of my work. Many investigators believe that throughout the globe, cosmetic are responsible for poisoning due to high concentration of heavy elements. An extensive analysis of cosmetic users and non-users found that those who use cosmetic daily are often in skin disease like uh, skin rushes, multiple stretch marks, yellowish brown coloration and cancer ETC due to presence of a heavy element present in the cosmetics. In present work, I have studied the nanosecond laser interaction and elemental analysis of cosmetic agents using spectroscopic techniques. The cosmetic samples are taken from Hyderabad, Sindh, Pakistan. Introduction of LIPS. LIPS basically stands for Laser Induced Breakdown Spectroscopy. It is, an, it is an analytical technique through which one can determine the elemental composition of any sample. Sample may be in the form of a solid, liquid, as well as a gaseous form. Overview of LIPS process. Basically, LIPS process consists of three separate regimes. regimes. One is known as a plasma generation, second is known as a light collection, and third one is known as a spectral analysis. During plasma generation, a highly powerful laser light interact with the target material after passing from focusing lens. This focusing lens basically focuses this laser light into a small portion or small area of the target material. So as a result, Plasma is generated in the form of plume. 
so as the plasma recombine this plasma emits radiations and these radiations are collected by a spectrometer this basically this is a device which convert which absorb radiations and converts these radiations into electrical signal so finally we get a spectrum and we will analyze this whole spectrum and this spectrum tells us about the information of this target material lips process can be classified into uh, three separate operations one is known as a laser material interaction second is known as a laser plasma interaction and third one is known as a plasma expansion during laser material interaction a highly powerful laser light interact with the target material so as a result plasma plume is plasma is generated on the surface of target material so this plasma exists here in a nanosecond while another laser light interact with this plasma so this interaction is known as a laser plasma interaction as a result a high pressure is generated inside the plasma and plasma expand in the form of plume so this procedure is known as a plasma expansion so these are the names material ablation material ablation it is a process of a removal of material from a surface by heating it with a laser beam so this material removal this material removal depends on a two properties one is known as a laser property second one is known as a plasma property so laser property may be pulse width wavelength of a laser energy of laser and sample property may be optical properties or thermodynamic properties so what happens here when a laser light interact with a, this target sample so as a result plasma produced on the surface of a, this sample and this is the result of a material ablation so this plasma or material ablation depends on the two properties one is a laser property second one is a sample properties so creation of plasma on a cosmetic sample using lips technique so this is the basic basically our target material and uh, here this is a sample holder here is our target material this is a convex lens and from this side our laser comes and interact with this target material after passing from uh, this convex lens or focusing lens so as a result plasma is generated so due to recombination plasma emits radiations and these radiations are collected by spectrometer through optical cable from this side uh, our optical cables are present which uh, absorb radiations so advantages of lips lips has many advantages just like it offer rapid analysis required no or very little simple preparation required no contact with a sample sensitive to all elements analysis spot is very small scalable in a simple size it has a many applications as lips has a many application throughout the globe just like material analysis industrial analysis environmental monitoring biomedical analysis military and safety application etc respectively sample preparation so we have followed two steps to make a simple one first in first step we take 10 g of a cosmetic uh, just like talcum powder mixed with a 3 g of wax powder so as a result we put these uh, these both cosmetic and wax into mixing machine so after that this process in next step we take 10 g of this mixed material and put into this uh, hydro electro hydraulic press for making uh, hydraulic press for making our plates that due to which we will analyze uh, by hitting the laser on that those plates so finally our plates are ready for uh, data analysis samples i have basically uh, my cosmetic agent was basically talcum powder and uh, i have taken three uh, different talcum powders one is a uh, enchanter this is coded as a sample a kriza sample b and fair and pure uh, simple c simple a belongs to malaysia simple b belongs to england and simple c belongs to uh, pakistan these are the most popular cosmetics or talcum powders used in pakistan experimental setup so our experimental setup consists of a endiog laser 
lens this is lens is a basically focusing lens simple holder probe and uh, spectrometer delay generator and uh, power supply finally laptop or pc so what happens when a laser light comes uh, comes towards target material after passing from this lens and this laser light interact with the target material as a result plasma is generated so as a recombination of plasma this plasma emits radiation in all direction but we put our probe at the 90 degree of this plasma and uh, it's working um, these this basically absorb radiations and move towards the spectrometer and the spectrometer converts these radiations into spectral lines and this is a basically delay, delay generator and the working of delay generator is basically the delay or the time gap between plasma generation and the light collection so the time gate gap between plasma generation and light collection uh, doing this work delay generator so again uh, this is the same picture which i have already i have told you so our probe is uh, set we have set our probe from this side 90 degree to the plasma bloom and this is the perfect location of a probe uh, this probe basically absorb maximum radiations that's why we place this probe at 90 degree of a plasma results and description emission spectrum of telcom powder plasma produced by 1064 nanometer laser so this is our target material and you can easily see there are multiple uh, spots here these spots basically laser shots and uh, we have taken multiple data and finally get average of all data and the spectrum whole spectrum consists from 300 nanometer to 780 nanometer this whole spectrum we will analyze this whole spectrum and this whole spectrum gives the information about this target material so this whole spectrum uh, were further divided into portions for perfect identification of transition lines or emission lines so in a figure a which consists from 305 to 380 we have already we have observed four emission lines and these four emissions belongs to calcium neutral line calcium ionic lines in a figure b it is start from 380 to 433 we have observed three magnesium line and remaining calcium lines in a figure c it is start or is ranging, uh, ranging from 440 to 489 almost we observed all transition lines of belongs to calcium in a figure d it is start from 500 to 530 we have found silicon magnesium these are the triplet of magnesium calcium and uh, calcium lines in a figure e it is start from uh, for uh, 530 to 600 most of from in this portion we have observed chromium calcium uh, calcium aluminium calcium and double eight of a sodium line in a figure a which is start from 608 to 618, uh, 618 we have observed triplet of a calcium line in a figure g its ranging is from 632 to 648 we've observed two silicon lines one strontium line and remaining calcium lines while figure h its ranging is from 648 to 672 we have observed three calcium lines and one h alpha line this is a basically hydrogen neutral hydrogen lines in the last fig figure i it's start from 710 to 710 to 735 we have observed three calcium lines number of emission line number of emission lines of uh, all samples basically we have observed uh, these emission lines are these elements in a sample a uh, we have observed uh, 19 calcium line while in a sample b we have observed 30 uh, 42 calcium lines in a figure c we have observed 19 calcium lines and uh, minor calcium lines of magnesium silicon chromium and strontium aluminium sodium hydrogen and lithium temporal variation of intensity temporal variation is basically a variation of uh, anything or intensity 
along with the delay time temporal basically a variation shows a variation with a delay or variation with time so this is a basically 3d graph and this 3d graph shows that the emission lines or the intensity of emission line continuously decreases as the delay increases or delay time increases in a microsecond so let's suppose this is our target material and plasma plume is uh, produced or generated normal to the target material so we put our spectrometer or probe at this position this position is basically core of plasma and uh, we changes only we does not change this probe that means we does not change distance but we only change delay time delay time basically the time gap between uh, light collection or plasma generation and light collection so as you increase the delay between plasma generation and light collection the intensity of transition line continuously decreases this is due to recombination of plasma axial variation of intensities of transition lines so axial means a variation of a transition line or variation of intensities along with the distance so this equation shows that the intensity varies according to this equation and the intensity does not varies only with a temporal variation but but intensity varies along with the axial distance or uh, variation also so again let's suppose this is our target material and this is a plasma plume so now this position we does not change delay time but we only changes a distance as we increase distance normal to the uh, target material again intensity continuously decreases the variation of intensity depends on this equation so these are the names h is a basically planck's constant c is a speed of light lambda is a wavelength of transition line g is a transition probability a is a transition probability and d is a statistical weight uh, likewise uh, ej is upper energy temporal and axial variation of stark shift of emission line so there are four pictures a b c and d these are pictures show that there is a variation of a shift there is a variation of transition line this variation is known as a shift so this shift occurs due to uh, stark shift uh, this is known as a stark shift this occurs due to the microelectric field produced inside the plasma because uh, we know that plasma is basically highly ionized gas uh, or highly ionized charged particle so there is a electric field and that electric field is known as a microelectric field <clears throat> due to this there is a transition occurs so this belongs to this emission line belongs to a uh, neutral lead 266.3131 so there is a shift this black in transition line recorded at 1 microsecond and uh, this last one having a low intensity recorded at a 6 microsecond this means we change the delay time uh, and there is a shift that shift is known as a stark shift and the remaining pictures are again behave like a same plasma parameters there are the uh, number one is known as the electron temperature is me sir i want to ask a question okay uh, i want to ask a question from pre uh, previous slide okay this one yes sir sir uh, mm -hmm. is graph mein jo variation hai wo kis kis ke darmiyan aa rahi hai ye different uh, color ke graphs hain to ye uh, yes. kis tarah uh, matlab variation kin kin parameters mein aa rahi hai acha ye jo variation hai hame jo first black wala jo line hai that is uh, recorded at 1 microsecond ye humne 1 microsecond mein record kiya aur jaise okay, okay. as the delay as the delay increases the intensity of transition line continuously decreases okay this shows that okay, okay. just not just not intensity decrease but there is a variation of shift in that shift time. Uh, known as okay in delay time okay sir okay thank you so electron temperature electron temperature is a measure of average thermal kinetic energy of per particle in a plasma electron temperature is an important parameter to describe the ionization and excitation process takes place in a plasma intensity ratio method and boltzmann plot method are used to determine electron temperature so this is the formula uh, of electron temperature using intensity ratio method and this is the formula for calculating temperature or electron temperature using boltzmann plot method
So we have used this method we to have calculate the temperature. Uh, Dr. Sai, we have another question. Okay. Uh, I think one of the attendees have raised the hand. So, uh, okay, which one? Kindly. You may uh, open the mic and speak. Oh, uh, so uh, I think maybe we can uh, uh, let the um, uh, questions till the end. Okay. So can I move on? Okay, because uh, there was some raising hands. If it is urgent question, you can write in the chat. I will uh, to, to answer if it's regarding some slide, or we can uh, make discussions at the end of presentation. Sorry for the interruption, Dr. Sai. You may continue. Okay. So I have used uh, this equation, Boltzmann plot method, for calculating electron temperature. So I have used the these transition lines to calculate uh, electron temperature. These transition lines basically belongs to calcium neutral lines. So this is uh, this graph is known as a Boltzmann plot or Boltzmann uh, plot graph. And uh, from this position, we have found first we found slope. Slope is equal to y2 minus y1, x2 minus x1. So after finding slope, we will put slope value here and find uh, temperature. That temperature is known as a plasma temperature or electron temperature, where K represents a Boltzmann constant. So the temporal variation of electron temperature. So this graph shows the temporal variation of electron temperature with the delay time. So first one uh, belongs to simple C, central one belongs to simple P, and last one belongs to simple A. So these variations shows that as the delay time increases, the temperature of plasma continuously decreases. This is again due to thermalization or recombination of plasma. So plasma as a plasma recombine, the temperature of plasma or the average kinetic energy of molecule continuously decreases due to which uh, the temperature variation shows that due to which the temperature variation also decreases. And this shows exponential uh, decreasing trend. For sample A, we have found 11,000 uh, to 3,000 50 Kelvin temperature. For sample B, we have found 12,400 to 4,300 Kelvin. And for sample C, we have found electron temperature from 13,700 to 4,910 Kelvin. Next one is the electron number density. Electron number density is the number density of electrons in a plasma. Electron number density is also an important parameter to describe the state of plasma. So stark Brodmann line profile method is used to determine the electron temperature. So this is a formula of stark Brodmann line profile method. The delta half lambda is basically full width half maximum and omega is basically an impact parameter which we can check from literature. N e is the electron number density and this is a power factor. We can multiply this. So another, this is another formula of electron temperature. So this is a special formula. So this formula you can use when you have a hydrogen line. So if you have a hydrogen line, you must use this uh, formula for calculating electron number density because by using hydrogen line, you can minimize your errors. Temporal variation of number density. So this is graph shows for sample A, for sample B and for sample C, number density continuously decreases as the delay increases. Excuse me, sir. Number density? Excuse me, sir. Number density? Yes. Uh, sir, what is impact parameter? So, omega. you ask... Uh, you omega impact parameter. What is impact parameter? Kya hota hai? Impact parameter is values calculated in the literature. Mein given hote hai. Okay? So, you can use it from there. Okay, and so sir, what is the purpose of finding a, plasma temperature and uh, electron number density? So, one request from you. Wo ye hai ki aap agar question last me karein to better rahega. Okay, sir. Thik hai? Thank you very much. For sample A, electron number density varies from 9.29 to 4.49 into 10 power 16 centimeter power minus three for sample b 
electron temperature varies from 7.71 to 3.62 into 10 power 16 and for simple c this electron electron density varies from 6.54 to 2.19 into 10 power 16 centimeter power minus 3 again uh, number third is a plasma frequency the oscillating frequency of plasma species is known as a plasma frequency the laser meter is also depends upon the reflectivity of a target simple surface the laser pulse absorption or reflection from the target sample depends on a plasma frequency so this is our formula for calculating plasma frequency so omega p is equal to 9 into 10 power 3 radical n e so this shows plasma frequency depends on a electron number density so as our electron number density decreases that means the plasma frequency also decreases so this is the decreasing trend or this is the graph of plasma frequency versus delay time of a telecom powder samples for sample a it varies from 5.51 to 3.83 into 10 power 10 hertz for sample b it varies from 5.02 into 10 power 10 to 3.43 into 10 power 10 hertz for sample c it varies from 4.62 to 2.68 into 10 power 10 hertz so again uh, this shows the decreasing trend so I have already told you that uh, there is a recombination occurs in a plasma. So as a plasma recombine, the energy of plasma continuously decreases. So as energy decreases, the oscillation of these particles continuously decreases. As the oscillation decreases, that means the frequency decreases. So this trend uh, occurs due to that. Next one is the IB coefficient. That means inverse brainstalling coefficient. The inverse beam installing is a process in which an electron absorbs a photon while colliding with another electron or ion. Electron temperature and electron number density are the most popular parameters that can be utilized or explore and explore the existence of plasma configuration. The inverse beam installing coefficient is a, an important parameter of production of a plasma. This is the one of the main parameter to for the production of plasma or plasma generation. So this is the formula for calculating inverse beam stalling coefficient. Here alpha IP basically inverse beam stalling coefficient. Lambda is basically laser wavelength. N is uh, electron number density and T is the uh, electron temperature. So this is the variation of a uh, inverse beam stalling coefficient with a delay time. For sample A, this varies as uh, 1.36 into 10 power minus 3 to 6.02 into 10 power minus 4 centimeter inverse for simple b it varies as 8.81 to 2.28 into 10 power minus 4 centimeter inverse for simple c it varies from 6.04 to 1.44 into 10 power minus 4 centimeter inverse next one is the calibration free lips so calibration free lips is a technique which is used to determine the concentration of element present in any sample so for atomic species, we use this formula, FCZ, F is a normalization factor, CZ basically concentration is equal to IK, I is the integrated intensity, uh, UZ, this is a basically partition function, A is a transition probability, G is a statistical weight, EK is a upper energy, K is a Boltzmann constant, and T is a temperature. And this equation is used for ionic species. So let's suppose you have uh, both calcium lines, calcium 1, that means calcium neutral, and one is the calcium 2, that means calcium ion. So for neutral, you use this equation. For ionic line, you use this equation. And finally, you just add both concentration for finding total concentration of element present on that, that sample. The concentration of element present in a telecom powder sample. So these are the values and uh, we have used two techniques. One is the calibration free lips and second one is the double AS. Double AS basically atomic absorption spectroscopy. And this is again used to calculate the concentration of elements present in a, any sample. So for calibration, uh, due to calibration free uh, lips, we have found maximum concentration of all samples and uh, minor concentration of magnesium we have no found chromium in sample A. 
but we have found chromium for sample b and not for sample c late zero concentration using calibration free method but we again uh, for verification of these the results we used double as technique and this shows that again calcium has a maximum concentration that means this result supports the calibration free lips so this shows that calibration free, during calibration free or double as we have found maximum concentration of calcium in a talcum powder sample so this is the etx energy dispersive x-ray and this result shows that uh, there is a high weight percentage of a uh, calcium in a sim our sample error budgets there is also fluctuation in a reproducibility of the data due to the following reason fluctuation in a laser energy environment fluctuation in a lens to simple distance roughness of a sample geometrical position of a simple surface with respect to laser conclusion remarks we have show uh, we have see that lips is a very useful technique for elemental analysis of a material and uh, for sample a we have found these emission lines calcium sodium hydrogen magnesium silicon aluminum lithium for sample b we have found calcium sodium hydrogen magnesium silicon chromium strontium aluminum while for sample c we have found calcium sodium hydrogen magnesium silicon and aluminum our results shows the intensity variation of emission lines decreases with a temporal uh, variation not only temporal variation but axial variation also a star shift occurs in the transition lines due to microelectric field present in a plasma we have found the maximum concentration of calcium in all talcum powder samples using calibration free lips double as and edx techniques calcium is a uh, calcium on the skin not only protect the skin from uh, uv radiation but also contribute to regulate the dead skin cells lysis and new cell uh, new skin cell uh, regeneration so there is a benefit of calcium uh, in our skin so this is a lips technique our uh, lips setup in kade uh, adam university islamabad we have recorded our data from this lab this is a main source that is known as ndog laser this is a power supply and uh, this is a delay generator and this is a sample holder and uh, this is a basically our probe and uh, this is our uh, spectrometer and this is a reflecting uh, glass so my talk uh, elemental analysis of talcum powder so this is our uh, work is published on optic is a highly uh, rankable general its uh, impact factor is uh, 2.449 and uh, our topic is elemental analysis of talcum powder using spectroscopic techniques <clears throat> this is recently published 2022 list of publications my one paper is uh, just accepted yesterday and will soon available in online and these are our publications and this is thank you for your valuable course house is open thank you uh, assalam alaikum sir uh, sir what is the purpose behind what finding the plasma parameters like electron number density and plasma temperature प्लाज्मा जो हमारे पास बन रहा है वो किस तरीके से रिकम्बाइन हो रहा है रिकम्बाइन एक्सपोनेंशियल हो रहा है या सिलो सिलो रिकम्बाइन हो रहा है तो इस वेरिएशन okay. को देखने के लिए हम इन पैरामीटर्स को फाइंड आउट करते हैं एंड सर एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ लेजर इंड्यूस्ड प्लाज्मा सर एप्लीकेशंस ऑफ लेजर इंड्यूस्ड प्लाज्मा जी एप्लीकेशंस जो लेजर इंड्यूस्ड ब्रेकडाउन स्पेक्ट्रोस्कोपी है वो हर जगह पे है जैसे कि मिलिट्री और सेफ्टी एप्लीकेशन अगर देखें सर लेजर इंड्यूस्ड प्लाज्मा 
जो प्लाज्मा है वहां से बनता है जो उसको हम कहा यूज कर सकते हैं जो लेजर इंड्यूस प्लाज्मा जिस तरह जनरेट हुआ है उसके हमने पैरामीटर्स फाइंड किए हमने क्या उसको हम यूज कर सकते हैं नो वी कैन नॉट यूज दिस पैरामीटर प्लाज्मा बिकॉज़ इट्स लाइफ टाइम इज वेरी शॉर्ट ओके 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 थैंक यू सर माय क्वेश्चन इज दैट कि जैसे आपने कहा है कि आपने यहाँ पे वैक्स पाउडर को भी यूज किया है विद कॉस्मेटिक पाउडर तो इज इट नेसेसरी यस दिस इज नेसेसरी फॉर क्रिएटिंग बॉन्डिंग ऑफ बिटवीन कॉस्मेटिक पार्टिकल्स ओके सर विदाउट दिस वी कैन नॉट Uh, my second question is that uh, can the delay time affect the results if yes then how delay time as uh, you have mentioned mm -hmm. uh, how so can it delay be time affect the results so let's suppose plasma is formed okay yes. plasma is the high temperature and the environment surrounding the plasma is very low temperature as uh, there is a law of uh, physics temperature always from from higher to lower so as the delay increases the temperature or the particles present in the plasma continuously their energy continuously decreases that means the temperature decreases so as the delay increases this uh, variation continuously increases and this behavior is known as uh, the temporal variation okay uh, okay sir thank you sir my last question is uh, uh, as you have mentioned that uh, you were talking about talc talcum powder uh, and you have said mm -hmm. that uh, it is uh, affected uh, for our skin but in the end you you were saying that calcium is good for your skin okay. uh, can you say if if we can say that uh, calcium is in high pop in is in uh, uh, i mean uh, uh, if calcium is greater in then it is uh, it is good for health i mean it is good for skin or not yes uh, the uh, my my results the, only belong to uh, both. yes sir my results only belongs to those sample which i have i, uh, I mean what the objectives uh, of your this, okay, what the objectives of your work what Hello? are the objectives of your work my objective was uh, to find out uh, uh, heavy elements and their concentration so we have found uh, there is no in, uh, any heavy elements and uh, the concentration of calcium is uh, very high and this is uh, beneficial for our skin so this protect uv radiations from our skin so these results are only belong to those samples which i have used uh, in this process okay sir thank you sir okay uh, next one gansham sir das thank you dr saifullah uh, and uh, we thank Hello, all sir. that this uh we will send uh, an evaluation uh a link to for evaluation on the telegram group uh so uh this uh, evaluate the seminar today and in the evaluation form you will find um, a question to write your full name so you can receive your certificate of attendance thank you uh, again and um, now uh, dr ayman sharqaw sharqawi will um give uh thanking uh talk to dr sai thank you thank you very much uh, dr saiful saiful din uh, uh, is very invo informative uh, lectures and thank you for everybody and for all attendance thank you thank you now the session will end thank you again.